Welcome back to yet another episode of How It's Made. My name is Sarah and behind the camera is Barnett UG. Previously on our channel, we showed you how to make fondant icing. Remember, we are using King Baker's icing sugar. So today, I'm going to show you how to lay this fondant on our cake, pull out the sharp edges and do stencil work. There's so many types of stencils, so many designs. So it depends on what you want. And after this, after we have put our stencil design on the cake, we are going to airbrush with airbrush colors and you're going to see how it's made like you're going to really see how airbrush is done how stencil work is done how laying fondant on your cake is done so thank you and i welcome you to how it's made So when you make your fondant and it stays for some time when it is kept, this is what happens. It's breaking, it's not sexy at all. So what you do, you add in some glycerin syrup in your fondant and on top of that, you add in some CMC to make it combine together very well. Make Add in a few pinches, like a pinch of CMC and then you start the kneading. So, if you are using the best icing sugar, what happens is this will combine easily and quickly unless if you're using the worst, the worst icing sugar type, okay? So, but for this case, we are using King Baker's icing sugar and let's see what it does for us. So, you keep kneading until it really combines together into a smooth and stretchy fondant. This is how far it is you see that how smooth it is if you realize it's not stretching enough it's okay to add in a few drops of glycerin syrup and uh, when you're using glycerin please when you're going to purchase glycerin go for 99 percent uh, don't look for those um you know low percentage of glycerin and keep kneading Remember this fondant, we made it last week in our previous episode of how fondant is made. So this time around, we are making or we are putting this fondant on our cake. So this is far, how far we've gone. Our fondant is stretching enough. It is smooth, as you can see. And we are soon putting it on our cake. Okay. So our fondant is ready. It is smooth. Make it in a bowl. And we are going to put here some icing sugar to dust our table. And we put our fondant here. So before we do that, because we are using a dummy okay this is not a cake so we're using a dummy so we need to first blush our cake with water or we spray it with some water so that the fondant can spray can stick on our cake even if it is a cake it's advisable that you do some water water spraying so you can see how it is shiny it really shows you that water has been evenly spread on our dummy so we start laying our fondant okay of course you need a loading pin to do this so we start layering or spreading our fondant those of you who know how to make chapatis how to load chapatis this is easy for you So, you see how smooth it is and how white it is? The answer is just because I use King Baker's icing sugar. Okay? So, 
so this is enough for us so we roll our fondant here we bring our cake put it here then we lay over and blow okay first thing you need to make sure of course you need a smoother make sure the top is smooth enough and now we start laying it over the cake don't mind the tearlings they will be worked on so you first you know save the, the, the sides the edges of the cake open the folds you have to be a little bit fast because you wouldn't want your fondant to you know dry in your hands as you do this you be fast but steady that's what we call steady fast i don't know if that's the word then See this, we open the folds and press them in. All folds in. And that's it. So we have to smoothen our cake. Make sure it is really, really, really flat enough like that then we work on the sides up down motion is what is used here turn for you to see So we remove this excess fondant of our cake. First knead it and keep it safe. Put it there. Then bring it to the stand at this point you need the turntable so that think about your sharp edges and I'm going to show you another trick of how best to pull out the sharp edges. So we are going to flip our cake so that we can get the sharp edges. So you get a clear board, place it here, hold your cake very well, put your hand down and you flip the cake. Press it back on the turntable. Now do the magic of pulling out the sharp edges. As you get as if you're pinching the cake but you're not like that like that like that So what we have to do, we are going to cut off 
this excess fondant from the cake. Okay, so so we cleared off the excess fondant that with the one that we are placing down. So we're going to flip back our cake. Okay, that's that's it. Back to the turntable and off. So you can see we already have a very smart sharp edged cake. You know the sharp edges can even cut your fingers. Yeah, so now we have to clear off the excess from the lower part of the pot. The same way we did the top is the same way we are going to do the bottom of the cake. So again, we cut off the excess fondant. So you remember to clean your board. If it is, uh, if it is not wet enough, put uh, spray some water. Then you clean the board. So that's it. We have our well covered cake with fondant icing. We pulled out the sharp edges and we made sure we have very neat cake so what you need to do is make use of your smoother and focus because if you don't focus things won't really come out so the next step you're going to do is do the stencil work stay tuned i'll be back So guys, as I promised you, I said we are going to do our stencil work. I hope you've seen so many stencils. This is how they look. There's big size, small size, so many designs. You choose what you want. So when you do the stencil work, you flip it the way you want because this is just even or the same. And we place it on our cake just like this. And uh, you need to have someone to hold for you the other side if you can't really handle it alone. So we are doing with our loyal icing which is green so i'm going to show you how we do the stencil work you get your cake you ice your cake with fondant and then you put your stencil on the cake get someone to hold for you and then comfortably start uh, you know putting your cream on the cake So, our first round is done, so we remove our stencil and our design is on the cake, just like it is on the stencil. So we have to continue and make sure the whole cake is fully covered with our design.
so we have finished doing we have finished doing our stencil work using a stencil design it depends what design you want but that is how you do it please you can use royal icing you can use buttercream icing to do your stencil designs on your cake so the next step we're going to do i promised you that we're going to air brush our cake so that we give it a different effect make it more advanced so i said uh, we are going to work with dust colors we're going to air brush this is the air brush machine so it depends on what brand you go for i bought this at discount shop chikubo it works like this and uh, you use dust colors so with these dust colors they are really like really dust we, we mix them with uh, with vodka it depends on what type of vodka you're working for or you're working with so you mix white vodka with the dust color and you get a solution that is a little bit soft because you wouldn't want it to stick into the airbrush so after mixing you just pour in your machine first test this from here if it is really doing what you want then we are going to pull out our design in a unique way so we are doing the airbrush technique designs we first did we first did our fondant pulled out the sharp edges we then did our stencil work and we are really airbrushing our stencil work together with the cake so we need to have a different texture or different looks of our cake So that's basically how we do our airbrush designs. So if you're doing this, you just have to be very, very keen when it comes to how you mix your uh, solution, which is the dust colors. And you must really, really first have to ask and when you're purchasing them, are they airbrush colors or hand brush colors? Before you know it, on this channel, we'll be showing you how to do hand brushing because there's also hand brush techniques. But this is the airbrush technique so the trick is in making your solution not so thick and not so diluted and then you can choose to you know do the you can choose to airbrush the cake and then do the stencil work or you can also choose to airbrush the whole cake with its um, stencil design so basically there are so many ways you can play around with your airbrush and your stencil to pull out something beautiful and remember you have to look for the shiny airbrush colors they must be really shiny because this after it has cooled down for like maybe 30 minutes the color will start coming out very well and becoming more shiny and more bright so that is it for our class of today showing you how fondant is made we previously showed you how we lay the, we, we make the fondant now we are showing you how to cover the cake pull out the sharp edges on top of that we did stencil work i say there are so many types of stencil designs and you can use buttercream icing or you can also use loyal icing if you want the cake to stay longer and uh, also when you're doing airbrushing look for dust colors especially the bright dust colors like gold silver blue blondes there's so many dust colors there and of course you need to have an airbrush machine because you want it effectively spread on your cake and use the vodka use a vodka of your type to mix your dust color some of you may make a mistake and use water no don't use water use a vodka to mix and spread your cake evenly and you are good to go so thank you so much for watching this is how it's made